from my last video, I said I am going to take a video about setting up the themes in deck. So today we are going to take a look at that. So first of all, let's go to options and select theme. We can see that there are several options here. On normal Android devices, we can just click browse themes and then there are many options for themes and we can download that directly. But here in Retro Pocket 2, um, you can see there are some download links, but if we click it, there's no reaction, so we cannot download it directly from here. Personally, I think this theme is quite cute. Because we cannot get the themes here, we'll have to get it through the computer. You can see I have clicked it several times, but nothing comes out. Let's look at how to download themes for Dig. To do so, we'll have to go to this website from our computer. I'll put down the link to the description down below. So there are two pages of themes here. You can pick the one you like and download it to your SD card. And I've picked up several themes that I think they are suitable for RetroPocket. This first one is One Piece theme. Uh, it is a Japanese animation. It is uh, about 556 megabytes. And these systems are supported. The next one is Ultimate Gamer. which is pretty decent and simple. It's just 11.2 megabyte. It's really small and I think it's good. The next one is uh, 3D Stylist comic book. It is quite fancy and is about 432 megabytes. Next one is Minimax. I would suggest the light version because it is uh, much smaller. It is 98.7 megabytes. I personally don't like themes over than 500 megabytes because it will take up some time to load it and I don't think there's enough memory to download such a big theme for our Retro Pocket 2. The next one is uh, actually quite interesting because it looks like V and I actually saw someone on YouTube using it. So it's about 30.3 megabytes, so it's not a large theme, I, I think it is good. The next theme is also quite fancy. You can find it here, it's uh, just about 45.3 megabytes. It's not big, so you can actually download several of them to choose. Next one is comic book. It is quite fancy, it's quite beautiful. And I'm going to install that to my Retro Pocket 2 to show you as well. It's about 41.5 megabyte. Next, uh, the SNES Classic Rock Cage is actually my personal favorite. I use it as my everyday theme and it's just about 14.3 megabytes. But the home screen images are missing, so I have to extract from this theme and pick them up and change the icons for that. Here is uh, a screenshot of those home systems that I was talking about. So I really think this theme is really suitable for indigo color. Let's move on to how to install themes. I know everyone is asking for this. I'm going to do this now. Similar procedure, go to options and then click theme. And then click OK for install theme. And then go to the folder where you put your themes. In this case, I put it in my SD card one, others, and is there. So let's install Minimix Lite here, confirm. This is uh, the pop-up screen that you'll see when it is installing. It will take some time. Okay, now it's done. We can go to select theme and slide down. We can see Minimix light here, click it, and then it's changed. It's kind of using the same set of icons for 
uh, the ASEAN classic theme. Let's try and install another theme. Same procedure, go to themes and then click OK for install themes and then go to the folder where you put your themes. Let's try comic book this time. Confirm. So it's pretty fast this time, and then let's choose it. Comic book. You see, um, the home screen uh, has no icon for that, or um, it may not be displayed in the right way. So actually, you can press start to change the way uh, of display. You can see some of them has icons, some of them doesn't. But when we enter the system, this is really nice. It is uh, very decent and cute. But personally, I think it is a bit too much because uh, you have the uh, your box cover and with the background like that, it'll be a bit hard to see. So I'm not using this for my daily theme. To be honest, I really like the way it shows the system. It's really cute. But they obviously have no icon for Android. That's a pity. Let's look at how to change icons in our last section. Let's go back to my favorite theme. To find the change icon option, you can long press the icon to find it. You can go to a folder where you store your icons and then select it and then click confirm, then the icon will be changed. And of course you can change it back with the same procedure. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe for support.